All right, uh, so we are talking warmer and warmer weather, Mary Kay. Finally, we're breaking the pattern. We had two bummer weekends of yeah. cold rain. This <laughs> one's different. Wait till you see. And in fact, we are going to have cooler conditions lakeside for the next few days. Water temperature of Lake Michigan is still holding at 48 degrees, so that makes it feel a lot cooler if you're standing near the shore. Inland areas calling for a warming trend, and this weekend we are talking 70s for the picture. Now, late in the weekend and especially early next week, an unsettled pattern will develop with showers and thunderstorms likely. But for right now, we have 48 degrees, great visibility across the city. Winds have died down too. They've been out of the east, kind of stiff during the day. Now they're at six miles per hour. So the winds will start to relax tonight as high pressure moves in. This weak disturbance from Wisconsin trying to drag through some clouds. Those are starting to break up as well because this ridge of high pressure, the air under it is sinking and drying and it's drifting closer to Chicago. So that's sort of blocking this system from Wisconsin to make any progress. So for tonight, it's just going to be fair and cool. 42 for the overnight low. Those inland areas, though, especially near the Fox River Valley, we could see a little bit of patchy frost. And then as we go during the day tomorrow, I think we will pick up a light lake breeze. So you really have to be close to the immediate shore to feel that change. About 66 tomorrow for the high in Evanston, 68 in Skokie, but gosh, Elmhurst, LaGrange, 73 degrees for the daytime high. Same for you in Naperville. 66 is our normal high, so finally we're going above that for the inland areas. We'll see 67 in Whiting and 69 degrees in Gary. So Futurecast is showing your Thursday to just have fair weather clouds around. Be a nice quiet day. Then as we get into Friday, we are going to watch another disturbance, but it's going to bump into this dry air mass that we have in place. So I'm only calling for about a 20% chance of a stray sprinkle, otherwise just clouds from that system as it rolls through. So what we're going to see is that system on Friday sort of split in half. Part of it goes to Wisconsin, the rest of it going across southern Illinois and everything else running out of steam closer to Chicago. So the rain chance Friday is very minimal at 20%. The weekend, look at that, mm. 70. Saturday, 75 on Sunday. Small chance of rain on Sunday, only about 20%. But next week is when we start to see that active weather move in. Maybe some rumbles of thunder too, Monday into okay, Tuesday. Okay, some good days ahead. Different yeah. pattern. Thank you, Mary Kay. <laughs>